Hi, this is Helal. In this video, we will learn about the poverty gap index with an example. The question is like this. A society consists of four individuals with the following incomes. We have four individuals and their income is 200, 220, 300 and 320. Uh, the poverty line is 250. So for this very society, the poverty line is 250. The poverty gap index then is uh, we are being given 0.5. 0 0.5, 0 0.08, 0 0.16 or 20.0. Okay, so we will see how to solve this uh, question. First, uh, let's give some brief intro about uh, the poverty gap index. What actually it means? It simply means uh, the extent to which individuals uh, on average are below the poverty line. And it is expressed as the percentage of uh, people uh, below poverty line okay or a percentage of uh, the poverty line so uh, the formula for this is poverty gap index let us write it like this is given by that is, is equal to 1 divided by n okay we have then summation summation of from j is equal to 1 to q okay and then we have z minus y subscript j divided by z this is the uh, formula for poverty gap index now what does these symbols mean so this simply means uh, i will write here n means uh, the population okay i will write n is population and this is population uh, sorry for the background uh, noise i am not able to control that okay so it is actually a variable for me which i am not able to control uh, also this q represents total population of poor living at or below poverty line so i will write here this is a total uh, population of poor uh, living living uh, at or below below uh, poverty poverty line okay then we have uh, this z this z is actually the poverty line okay poverty line okay and uh, this yj yj represents the income of the poor individual j okay so i will write here uh, income of the uh, jth <laughs> let us write jth poor individual okay and uh, one thing to be remembered here is that individuals whose income is above uh, the poverty line have a gap of zero okay so we don't count that very in uh, calculating the poverty gap index now let us give uh, the variables are there values so we have and total number of uh, people are one two three four that means our n is equal to four okay now j means uh, income of uh, the j the poor individual okay and j lies between one to q that means we have uh, let me write it like this we have j is equal to income of j the poor individual okay what are the poor individuals here since uh, poverty line is 250 okay uh, any number which is equal to or below the 250 is our j that means j is and this 200 and 220 okay j is equal to 1 2 here and if j is equal to 1 that means let's write it uh, more formally so j would be here 200 okay and 220 okay income of the jth poor individual or we can write it uh, to make it uh, more uh, more easy we can write we have y1 is equal to y1 is equal to 220 sorry 200 okay 200 and y2 
y2 is equal to 220 because only these two numbers are below the poverty line that means uh, this is yj okay j lies between uh, j ranges from 1 to 2 okay and we don't count uh, uh, 300 or 320 because these as i have told you individuals whose income is above the poverty line have a gap of zero so we don't count them okay and what is our z as i have told you z is 250 which is our poverty line then what would be our uh, poverty gap index poverty uh, gap index is equal to so let us give the numbers variables the numbers so we have 1 divided by n okay 1 divided by in place of n we have 4 i will write here 4 okay now j varies from 1 to q so j has two values 1 and 2 1 and 2 so we can write it like this 1 divided by 4 uh, z minus yj now we have yj is y1 and y2 so first i will write uh, z is 250 uh, minus y1 is 200 okay divided by 250 uh, plus 1 divided by 4 okay what is our z is 250 uh, minus uh, this is uh, uh, second is 220 220 this is our y2 divided by 250 okay uh, here uh, you should not get confused this is our z minus y1 this is z minus y2 and y1 and y2 is simply yj okay since we have summation from 1 to 2 this uh, this time because only two persons are below the poverty line so when solving this will come out to be 1 over 4 now what is 250 minus 200 it is 50 divided by 250 okay uh, plus 1 over 4 250 minus uh, 220 is uh, 30 uh, yes 5 minus 2 is 30 divided by 250 okay oh, we can write it like this we have 50 divided by 250 into 4 is 1000 plus 1 into 30 is 30 and we have 4 into 250 is 1000 which comes out to be 80 our 1000 okay and this gets cancelled we are left with 8 our 100 okay so it can be right uh, like this and this is 10th hundredth so we can write 0 0.08 or it is 8 percent we can also write uh, 8 divided by 10 is 8 percent or 0 0.08 so the correct option would be this way that means 8 percent of the people uh, are below poverty line that is as i told you uh, it is expressed uh, as the percentage of the poverty line okay percentage of the poverty line so we have 0 0.08 or 8 percent i hope i make myself uh, clear in this video uh, my endeavor is to make more useful stuff for you people